If he see his chair, he know that he's going in and he just gonna go ahead and like, hey, I know what to do. I know to go with it. And if I take him out, he's not gonna be a happy capper. <laughs> so <laughs> his chairs just show him that like I could be a, like other chair. Of course you These are the sides. Really the craftsmanship comes into making the cushions, the straps and things like that are all custom made and sewn uh, here at the Tulane Makerspace. Right now the students are assembling the sheets, sanding them down and uh, putting them together using the pre-cut notches and screw holes um, to make this final product. It has been a roller coaster ride, honestly. Um, she's been in and out of the hospital her whole life. Silly girl. Whoa. Good job. A device like this gives her the ability to be upright in a more age-appropriate way, and also the ability to move around, go where she wants in her home. Seeing how much these were improving their lives and helping them become uh, a more independent person, even as a small toddler, like it was really, really endearing to see something like that and to see the, uh, the positive change. For the students that I work with, I tell them this is just the beginning. I'm trying to open their eyes to kind of a lifelong uh, passion that they'll have to solving these problems. Because once you see the problems and see the scope of the problems, you can't really uh, ignore them. There we go. Like I said, we come a long way, a long way. But I'm blessed to have him. Come on. It's just showing me a lot of things in life that I could be strong, because I used to just, like, where is life? And this is my life right here. <laughs>